Hello, hello, people in YouTube land. How do you do? Yes, we are in Chinatown. Chinatown in Singapore. Yes, Singapore also has a Chinatown. Even though we are nowhere near China. Uh, but we do have lots of Chinese in Singapore. So I guess, you know, in a town with lots of Chinese, you could consider it a Chinese town. Anyway, so we're coming to a food center in Chinatown called People's Park Food Center. The park where the people come to. Actually, I think in the past there was a park here and then later they built uh, stuff on top of it, you know. And then this food center stands on where the park used to be. So that's why they named this People's Park. But we are coming here to eat a popular food at this food center. The first floor of this place here, a huge food center with lots of seating and lots of stalls, hawker stalls, food stalls for you to eat. Yes. So the store we are going to at this present moment is still not open yet, but as you can see, people are already queuing up for the store. This is another queue for another store that sells raised duck rice. We will come back here another day to try the duck rice. Not today. So I came back on another day, uh, later that day. As you can see, the store is open already. And there's a long queue. There's this store uh, always have a long queue. And what we're having is Yong Tao Fu at this particular store. So what happens is uh, this store here opens up early in the morning and then they will start to prepare all the Yong Tao Fu pieces at the store. And then closer to the opening time, they will start to cook the Yong Tao Fu and then opening time they start to serve it. So this is what I got. They are Yong Tao Fu. You do not get to choose what type of Yong Tao Fu you want. They serve you in a set which costs you five dollars. And this is what you get. One whole bowl full of Yong Tao Fu. There are lots and lots of different pieces of Yong Tao Fu here. Uh, you have uh, fish balls, you have Tao Fu, fried Tao Fu, bean curd skin. Some of the Tao Fu is stuffed with uh, fish paste. Some of the bean curd is also stuffed with uh, bean curd or the uh, bean curd skin also stuffed with the uh, fish paste. So basically, these are handmade uh, Yong Tao Fu pieces and it costs you five dollars. And so, what you will try first is the soup. Let's taste the soup and see how it is. Ooh, okay, I do like the soup. The soup is hot, it's a uh, refreshing, a clear soup, not too salty, but you also get a nice flavor of soya beans which they actually cook into the soup and also they cook the Yong Tao Fu pieces in there so you also get the nice flavor of the Yong Tao Fu in the soup too but the main problem is what to eat there are just too many things in the bowl to choose so what should I eat first let's see yep let's start with the ball the ball of the fish fish ball okay fish ball has a slight bounciness to it uh, other than that it's just okay nothing too special about that next up is I think this is the bean curd skin probably they have some um, fish paste in there let's uh, taste it and let's see how is it okay okay I do like the texture of the young of this piece um, not too bad nice savory flavor when you dip it in the sauce oh yeah definitely dip it in the sauce so the sauce they give you is a mixture of chili sauce together with the uh, fermented uh, soya bean paste and then you also have this uh, tofu and then you dip it put some sauce on it so the sauce will give it a nice uh, spiciness a nice fermented flavor a nice sweet flavor to it a nice savory flavor to it which goes very well with yong tofu and this one is a fried tofu I think they also stuff in there some uh, fish paste too. Not too bad, not too bad. So I must say, um, because they uh, hand make some of the Yong Tao Fu pieces, some of the pieces here are, you know, you can taste the texture, you can taste the flavor that is not your usual uh, factory made Yong Tao Fu pieces, you know. And then the soup, I do like the soup, it's nice and refreshing, hot, uh, flavorful. And then uh, let's dip the bowl into the sauce. Yes, to make you uh, to make it look like a bloody ball. A 
Oh, bloody ball. And stuff it into my ball. Okay. The sauce is good. I do like the uh, fermented soy bean flavor that goes very well with your chop. And then this I think some kind of more here. Also not bad. So like I said, um, the Yong Tau Fu here is good. Uh, that's, I think what happens is the Yong Tau Fu, if you look at the queue, a lot of the people who queue up to eat the Yong Tau Fu is of the older generation. So the flavors here are more of the old school flavor you know, of uh, Yong Tau Fu. You know, not too much of the deep fried items, you know, a nice mixture of uh, fried and also uh, fresh items, you know, uh, non-fried items. Oh, and the soup also is nice and refreshing so quality wise Yong Tau Fu not too bad only issue I have with this is that um, it, it costs you five dollars the Yong Tau Fu pieces also not very huge and then also you cannot choose what type of pieces you get it's a set um, items and then also you only get the Yong Tau Fu you don't get it with noodles you don't get it with rice so yeah, just those are the soya beans that they cook in. So as I was saying, so um, not super filling. If you come here to eat, uh, it's more like a snack instead of a meal. Yeah. So yeah. So this is the popular Yong Tau Fu place. If you like Yong Tau Fu, this is a good place to come and try. The Yong Tau Fu here is actually uh, better than decent. Quite tasty. Quite nice. Uh, not the best I've eaten, but still I'm not disappointed in it. Yes, and they do give you lots of different uh, wide variety of yong tau fu, so you do not get uh, bored of eating different of, of eating the yong tau fu. And soup is good too. So overall, 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 not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm enjoying it, especially this. And of course, since the soup is so good, you should not waste a single drop. Drink it until the very, 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 very last drop. And then, that ends our food adventure here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, share and subscribe. I got Patreon, I got PayPal, you can support me on those or watch some of my old videos where I visit all the food centers in Singapore, exploring Singapore's food culture. Check my playlist, there's lots of videos in there. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure, my next full adventure. I will see you all around, guys, girls, and others too. Bye-bye.